Hi, my name is Stephanie Frosch. Last May I graduated with a BFA in musical theater from the University of Central Florida. I'm very proud to say for those four years I called Orlando home. The reason I decided to go to UCF is because my family had recently had a tremendous loss and I wanted to stay closer and because of Orlando's extremely strong, large LGBTQ plus community. In Orlando, I found myself loved and accepted in ways I would have never imagined. During my four years in Orlando, I worked so much with the LGBTQ plus community. I was a member of my school's GSA, I was on the board for LGBTQ plus services, I worked for Equality Florida, the largest nonprofit civil rights movement in Florida for LGBTQ equality. I found myself loved and accepted more than I could have ever imagined and I found so many LGBTQ plus friendly and owned businesses and venues, one of which was Pulse Nightclub. I first went to Pulse during September of my freshman year when I was volunteer coordinator for an event known as Diva Invasion, which was this amazing drag show that my school's GSA put on yearly where all the proceeds we raised went to the Zebra Coalition, an LGBTQ plus safe house that provided resources and housing for homeless LGBTQ plus youth. We always had an amateur spot which we selected out of contestants at Pulse nightclub. The employees, performers, and locals who would go to Pulse made it a safe haven for the LGBTQ community. If you are not LGBTQ plus, you probably don't understand that sigh of relief when you walk into an establishment knowing that you're accepted and welcome. It was a place where people had found their life partners. I took one of my friends there and it was his first gay club. Another one of my friends had his first ever drag performance there. And Saturday night a tragedy happened when 29 year old Omar Mateen went in and killed 50 people and shot 53 others. I know someone who was shot at that nightclub. I recognize the faces of the people who they are already announcing dead. And there are people in Orlando, in my community, who have it way worse than I do, who know these people and see them every day, who are their family members, who are their loved ones. There are no words to describe the pit in my stomach knowing that the largest mass shooting that US history has ever had was done against the LGBTQ plus community, a community that I'm a part of at a place that is very, very close to me. I have received hundreds of messages from my fans who are young and scared to come out because they're now fearing for their lives and this is not a world we can live in. I completely understand that it's scary because I am very terrified right now. I understand it's easier to hide and to cry and just to not want to be out there, but right now, this is when our community needs to be stronger than ever and we need to be out and proud now more than ever. We cannot let this break us. Even though I live in LA today, I tell everyone all the time that the gay community of Orlando is the strongest and most unified community I have ever experienced. And if there's any community that is going to come back strong, it is this one. I don't understand how someone could have so much hate to take so many lives from innocent, defenseless people because of a beautiful expression of love, it's not okay. I have incredible memories at Pulse Nightclub and just remember the joy and the community and the unity and the acceptance in that venue. We need to be strong and honor the lives that have been lost in this tragedy. This is what Pride is about. This is why this community has to still fight day after day. It's not just about equality, it's about our safety. It's about being treated as a human. This is why it is so important to teach love and acceptance because all of these things could be prevented. We still need to keep going. The hospitals where a lot of the victims are at do not have enough blood for everyone. And unfortunately, there is still a ban preventing gay men from donating blood, so many of those affected in the community can't actually do something about it. Please, if you're in Orlando, please donate blood, no matter how long the line is. If you can donate anything at all, I will have the link for the fundraiser in the description. I will have the links of all the blood banks where you can donate in the description. And if there's any update on anything that you can do to help, I will continue to update this description. And I will not stop. This was not at a park, this was not at a mall, this was at a gay club. A gay club on Latin night, where most of the victims were LGBTQ plus people of color. There's no hiding the truth about it. This was an act of hate against our community and we need to come back stronger. We need to show the world that we need to love and accept people. Because I refuse to be a gay person who is afraid to hold my girlfriend's hand. I refuse to be anything other than myself. And no one should have to fear who they are.